Hello Dumelang and welcome to my channel. I'm Awata Mama Howdy Bella and welcome to another video on Mama How Unchained. I hope you are all having a wonderful day and as you can tell by my breakfast, I was having a very sweet morning and I wanted to have a breakfast to match my mood. I decided to make some pancakes with some strawberries and banana and a blueberry sauce mixed with uh, some Greek yogurt. Growing up, I used to love making pancakes and it was one of the first few things that I learned to make when I was still learning how to cook and to bake and yeah, even to this day, I still love making them and since Mao has been around, I don't think I've made pancakes for her, so I decided to give her a little bit of a taste. In an ideal world, all of us would love to be happy at all times and, you know, and never experience uh, sad moments. But the reality of life is it doesn't always work out that way. On Sunday, I was so in a good mood and, you know, by the time I went to sleep at night, I was very happy. You know, when you feel so happy that you actually pick it up that today I'm in much of a better mood than I have been in a while and yeah I went to bed feeling good and little did I know that the rest of my week would not be as cheerful as my Sunday was and that is what my breakfast looked like and with a little bit of syrup on it I woke up on Monday and I got a call from my sister and she had some bad news to share with me. She had lost one of her very long time good friend and I was also going through my own thing. So that combination of sadness and anger was just too overwhelming for me. So I decided to indulge in a little bit of retail therapy. If the look on my face right now doesn't tell you how I was feeling at that time. The weather was also an indication as to how bad my mood was. So I just needed that time out of the house and, you know, just to get a little bit of fresh air. Retail therapy is shopping with the primary purpose of improving one's mood during times of stress or depression. Of course, retail therapy isn't really therapy. And I think there is something about the feeling of sadness and anger that creates a little bit of chaos. And, you know, you feel like you do not have any control in the situation. But when you go shopping and you're making all your choices and, you know, um, that feeling that you are in control of what you buy and how you feel at that moment sort of creates a little bit of calmness and gives you a little bit of control in an otherwise time where you feel like you are out of control of what is happening in your life. The flashing lights in the malls and the bright spaces, all the organized shops that you see and all the displays that sort of uh, bring a little bit of excitement to you are good in raising all your endorphins and your serotonin, which are the hormones that actually make you feel happy, are good for a little bit and for a short while it can be an escape from an otherwise chaotic situation.
In case you haven't noticed, I have a little bit of a marble obsession. And when I got to poetry, I saw all of these marble items and yeah, I just started to get excited and I just wanted to have each and every single one of them. But again, uh, retail therapy is about controlling your space. So at that time, I had to bring back a little bit of control and restraint and fight the edge to buy each and every single marble item that they had on the shelves. But yeah, if you're looking for marble accessories for your home, your coasters, trays, and Lazy Susan, and everything you can think of, poetry is definitely the place to go. And I love the color that they had the marbles in and not just uh, plain white or black as usual. I've always been looking for a nice tray or a marble tray for my kitchen and I picked up this um, serving board and I wanted to use it as a tray. It's got uh, two color marbles and one side is black and the other side is white and I used it in this little corner in my kitchen where I put all my um, things that I need on a daily basis when I'm cooking and it just gave it a little bit of a fresh look and yeah I got rid of that uh, old platter that I was using here and yeah it looks a little bit neater and cuter and a little bit fresh now I also got a couple of things from Foshini I got myself a pair of sunglasses I really don't wear sunglasses a lot but when I'm driving sometimes I feel like I need a little bit of protection from the sun and I don't buy expensive sunglasses because yeah when Mohao is in the car you know a pair of sunglasses is getting broken and the downside of retail therapy is you buy stuff that you normally don't wear I found myself buying this earrings and um, I don't really wear those kind of earrings anymore and uh, this pair of shorts I bought and I didn't even try it on and uh yeah it happens when you go through that phase where you just get excited and you see something but uh the fact that i wasn't in a good mood meant that i didn't even have the energy to go into the fitting room so i ended up with a pair of shorts that didn't fit me On Tuesday, I went back to Foshini to go and return uh, that pair of pants that didn't fit me. And this time, I think I was feeling a little bit better because I started trying on things in the shop. And I felt like my old self a little bit. And yeah, I liked some of the things that I saw in the stores, unlike on the first day when I went to the shop. Dumelan guys, and welcome back to my channel. And yeah, it's a few days later. I just wanted to check in with myself and see how I am feeling on this day. It's been a roller coaster of emotions for the past couple of days, but I think I'm in a better spot now. I had to force myself to get out of that, you know, mental state of just being sad, being um, angry. It's not an easy emotion to process, especially for me. I, I can't really say I've ever been sad and upset or slash angry at the same time and it really took a lot for me to get out of that spot but yeah um when it comes to my retail session <laughs> let me show you a couple of things that i got i don't think i really did too bad considering that i'm not somebody that shops when i'm unhappy I don't drink when I'm unhappy. I feel like when I'm an, I'm I feel like when I'm in that spot, I just take a pause and it's like nothing really moves in my life. And yeah, for the first time I forced myself to do something that I never really do. I'm not one to do retail therapy, but I wanted to try it. For once just get out of the house, go do something different and see how um i process in that space and to be honest i don't think i really do good when i'm um shopping when i'm not in a good spot because i found myself just wandering around the shops 
and i think at foshini i spent like an hour in there and i really didn't get anything that um was actually exciting me and it's funny because when i went to foshini i had a few things that i liked before going to the shop but when i got there everything just seemed like it didn't fit me the way that i wanted it to fit or it was just not as exciting as i had thought it was before so let me show you what i got from foshini the first thing i, I got is um this necklace is something that i haven't bought in a while i don't really wear a lot of costume jewelry and yeah i think it's one of those things that i bought because i was just you know in a mindset where i just wanted to get over things and i picked it up but it's not really something that i would buy on a normal day and i also got this one uh, it's a three links on one chain and, um i don't know if even it's a good idea to get anything for my neck uh, and chest considering that yeah i've got scars from my allergies but yeah i don't know if you can see them but they are healing quite nicely well they are healed now it's just the scars that um i left behind but these were very painful and it had been a while since i had got like sores on my chest back when i was young when i was still getting acne i would get a little bit of acne on my chest if i stood in the sun for a long time but yeah this was very painful but now it's gone it's just the scars that now you need to heal so i don't know if wearing a necklace will be like a smart idea to bring attention to my scars because um i do notice them and my husband every now and then i can see his eyes focusing on uh, my scars and you know yeah anywho uh besides the necklace i got these two earrings And then another thing that I got was um, these green shorts. I had a pair of shorts like these from Woolies, but they were like in the linen uh, fabric. So now they don't fit anymore. So I got this. I hope you can see it. So they're in like a green color. And I also got a skirt. I think I'm going through some sort of a green phase at the moment uh and i also got this this skirt which is long and it's got like a palm print on it or something like that in a cream i love wearing maxi skirt especially uh in the summer when it's so hot the last thing i want is a skirt that is tight on my hips and those kind of things and you're sweating in between your hips no i want to be free and i like to wear maxi skirts and dresses you'll hardly ever find me wearing shorts and those type of things but yeah this is one of those things that i like to wear and i also got a t-shirt this t-shirt i got because of the shorts and i wanted uh, to get something that will be like closer in color to this green because this green is really hard to match so um the cream works quite nicely with it and a pair of shorts i'm sure you saw me in the fitting room with these but i had to go back and take the other pair back because i didn't even uh, fit them the first time when i went there i didn't fit uh, the pants and yesterday i had to go back and change them and size up because yeah when you're going through things you just pick stuff and you don't even want to go into the fitting rooms <laughs> so yeah i ended up buying the wrong size and had to go and size up a little bit because yeah the big ass was not fitting in there and then i also got this red dress from edgar's i love dresses um yeah i feel like it's one of those things that you can never go wrong with and when i was growing up i used to want to wear dresses but my body was so awkward because i grew up as a fat kid and back then dresses were just made weird it was like everybody was making a straight cut dress and i could never find dresses that i felt like made my body look right and one day i went to was it i think i went to foshini back in the days when a uh, new started uh they had a blue dress i think it was a white dress and it had like blue paisley print on it i still remember that dress i used to love that dress and it was a red dress and for the first time when i wore that dress i fell in love with dresses and i think it changed my life because from that point on all i could buy was dresses if i could find a dress that fits me i would buy it and then the next dress i bought was a dress from edgar's it was um 
a sort of like a bustier type of bodies here and it was flowy and it was white and it's got it got like a flower or a garden print on it and i love that dress to bits and i would wear it with like some wooden wedges that i had uh yeah i used to dress up back in the days and yeah I, my love for dresses hasn't stopped and even to this day when i wear dresses i feel like i am really me so i got this dress from edgar's i got these um wedges i don't know whether to call them wedges or uh block heels and yeah they look quite nice on my feet and they are comfortable i used to wear very um high heels and i was still waking up wear high heels but i think after covid after putting on a couple of uh kilograms you don't want to wear heels anymore and i started wearing heels when i was still in high school on days when we would have casual day i would show up in heels walking all the way from zone four to zone two in heels and my feet would just be killing me but i would rock heels even in high school <laughs> so yeah i've worn heels my whole life but now i find that i cannot wear pencil heels because now i have no way to go in pencil heels but every now and then i find myself wanting to wear heels even when i'm going to the mall and those kind of things and when you're walking in the mall you want heels that are comfortable so that's why i bought this platform wedge heels and yeah i'm looking forward to enjoying them i hope they don't slip because now um uh, the soles on them are just i don't know a little too flat for me we'll see how that works now this is making me excited this is the one thing that i've been waiting for to be delivered and yeah i am so excited i wish i could unwrap it but i can't because now i have to take it to the village and i don't want to go through the whole process of opening it and closing it but uh yeah you both see it very soon uh when it makes its way to the other side but yeah i got myself the uh, display shelf from uh, Studio Delta. I've always wanted a cabinet from them, but I wanted the one that has doors. But gosh, guys, sixteen thousand. It was not coming out of my pocket, so I got this one instead. And yeah, I customized it to my own taste. Like, um, if I'm gonna get something made, I'm gonna make changes to it. Be believe you me, I'm gonna make changes. Uh, so I did a few changes here and there on the cabinet. Uh, I think it cost me like an extra 1000 just to do all those few changes on it. But you will definitely see it when I make it to the village. I promise you this was not part of my retail therapy. It just happened to be delivered. I ordered it about a month ago, over a month ago. So yeah, it was delivered yesterday. So it will be going to my village home. So I can't wait to take it to Bulogwani very soon. So let me stop banging on the table. I'm actually very excited about this one. But... Other than that, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. Uh, retail therapy is definitely not for me. I much rather prefer um, going through my emotions, finding better ways of coping with it. I have different mechanisms of uh, dealing with anger and with sadness, but most of it revolves around me uh, confronting my emotions and uh, those type of things. And I really don't think uh, drinking is for me when I'm upset. I don't think uh, retail therapy is for me when I'm upset, but I know people choose different ways to deal with the emotions that they are going through. And yeah, after trying retail therapy, I've definitely uh, confirmed that it's not for me i'm the one that prefers to face whatever emotions or feelings i'm going through at the moment and get them resolved so it's a work in progress but i enjoy um testing myself and going through different things and see if this one way of looking at things is working better than the other but um uh, it's one of those things you always think you have uh, the best way of dealing with things but if you have never tried other uh, approaches of facing that situation sometimes you can get stuck when uh, your normal way of dealing with things doesn't work so for me uh, I feel like things like drinking and uh, smoking and drugs and those type of things even though people use them as coping mechanisms for me they are more of an escapism because it makes you escape uh, the situation for that particular moment but it doesn't really deal with um, the emotions that you're going through or even the problem that you are facing uh, at the end of the day you still have to face all the um, heartache all the sadness all the 
uh, whatever issue that you're dealing with head on and actually find a healthier way of resolving uh, the emotions that you are going through. So um, I hope to see you very soon and I think the next video we will be on the other side of the province. I don't see myself uploading another video until I am back from that side. So I definitely, definitely look forward to seeing you guys again and thank you once again for joining me on Mamohao Unchained and have a nice, wonderful day. Bye.